probably nothing more exciting than going on an adventure to actually find a shot, something you thought about, something that you imagine and you want to make it happen. It's a little bit like in the Marquises, but this time we're in Japan and I'm so pumped because we're going to try to get a specific shot. I'm going to tell you a little more. I don't know if it's going to be possible. Yay! How are you? Road trip! I only brought one camera with me, A7R5. 14G Master and the 24 to 70 G Master 2. I have my film camera, my Leica with me, and then I have the Fuji X100V with me. I have the Sony A1, the Sony A7S3 that Jeremy will be using, and I have the R5 also. 50 millimeter 1.2, 35mm 1.4, a mist filter that I bought yesterday, 1635. 20 millimeter oh and 2470. Oh well, we have gosh. two cameras, three cameras, so. Yeah. Only one camera. One camera. Wow. One light. How do you think this trip's gonna go? I actually think it'll go really smooth because you know what? Because it's Japan and Pierre's a good driver, right? Are we gonna get stuck in the snow? Nah. We may be stuck in the snow. I think we're gonna get stuck in the snow. Oh, oh my God. We're going to a special little town, which is in the mountain that apparently got super popular and gets booked out a year in advance. But somehow, Vivian got us that one extra room. I have this very specific shot in mind of like we're creating the ambience of Spirited Away. And I really, really, really hope this little town will give us that. That's why I got the mist filter also. I think it's gonna add a lot of that ambience. And also, it's gonna snow. It is gonna snow. It is gonna snow. We need snow. Banza! All right, guys, we made it to Iwaki, and apparently people are surfing here. So I'm, I'm super excited. I've never been to that side of Japan where it's like a little more rural and there's the beach and the ocean it looks super pretty. And look at this. This makes like such a cool photo. Uh, is this photo okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. really cool whenever you come to those places it's just like to get a little bit of an ambient shot so I'm trying to get that lighthouse a little bit of that path at first I wanted to get rid of it but I think it adds to the context of where you are I think I'm gonna change land here because that 1635 is great but I think a little 50 or 85. It's gonna add a little bit of punch in here. I don't know, I feel a little far from the action right now. So This guy was really cool. He's always cool people. All you need is to find them. When you smile, it helps. Anata no namae wa nan desu ka? Takashi. Takashi? Pieru. Hi. Hi. Hajimemashi. Oh la la, oh la la la. This is so much snow. Remember when I said I wanted to know? Look at this, this is incredible. We're in Winter Wonderland right now in Japan. Vivian is shooting with her uh, Fuji X105. I'm gonna be on the A1 with the 15mm 1.2. We're gonna go in that small village where we took quick photos yesterday because now it's like snowing and it's daytime, so hopefully we can get a different ambient. Walk towards me. Walk towards you, okay. Yeah, and look up, look at the snow. Beautiful. Okay, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Look up. Oh, these are cute. One of the really cool aspects of being here in those mountains is that they have a lot of natural hot springs with sulfur water, which means you have onsens everywhere. Onsens are like bath, and in which you can go and it's warm. Yesterday we were there when we came back. We can't film in there really, but it was really enjoyable. And when I'm shooting, if you're seeing the steam that's coming up of the river, it actually creates a really nice diffuser. And at night it was really cool because on top of having that steam, there was like some mist in the air. So it added a lot of ambience. You look right here, you can see all the sulfur that's being dropped on the riverbed.
cool part, what I'm really excited about, is that we got all that snow and hopefully it's gonna be in Ginzan Onsen and we can get really like snowy vibe in that little town. It's gonna be cool. Let's go. All right, we made it and it's still snowing. We don't know where we are yet. I think we have to go in that little town. There was a guy with an umbrella that looked really cool. I ran out of the car and this is the photo. While we're trying to find our hotel, let me thank the sponsor of the day, Artlist. If we want high quality music that doesn't sound cheesy, this is where Jeremy and I go in order to find those tracks, simply because music will make or break your video. And so we need to have a reliable source of royalty free music we can use in our videos. And if music wasn't enough, Artlist also has sound effects, footage and templates and plugins that you can use in your videos. Honestly, it's a breeze for us to find music on Artlist through the advent filters. So please check out the link in the description right now and find a plan that works for you or just listen to a few samples I think you'll get blown away and now let's get back to the streets of Ginza and Onsen well I'm getting a lot of snow on the lens but when it snows like that you gotta get it while you're walking uh, your shots like this is a specific ambience yes, yes, yes. someone with a red umbrella <laughs> no I missed it I think it would have been better here. I think maybe horizontal with the person in the middle would have been better. I tried to get a little side angle. I mean, you can see the photos and let me know what you think. But uh, it's fun if everyone has umbrellas, it's gonna make for good photos. This is epic. Okay, so we've got a few options in terms of lenses here. I got the 35, the 85, 21, 8. But honestly, I think right now I'm gonna go with the 24, 70 in the streets in daytime because there's still snow falling and I can take my time. I think it's gonna look really good. And then once the sun is out and the lights come up, I'm gonna go back out with the 35, 14 and maybe the 85 and just play with those. I think it's gonna look... And maybe the 21, 8, I'll just... That's a lot now. But... What are you gonna shoot with? I'm gonna get an establishing shot right now Ooh. of our beautiful, gorgeous Onsen, the 14. Get that S and Q slow motion fluttering stuff. This was awesome. I saw the girl, she had a red jacket, a red umbrella, and I was like, I need to get that shot. And then I just went to ask them and we did a few poses. I think it looks really good. I kind of wish I had my ultra wide at some point, but I think it's still gonna be great. Can't wait to show you, look at this. This is such a cool shot. I'm so glad I asked that lady because I think it looks great. Now let's go look at this room. Guys, how is it inside? Woo! Look at the like real Japanese suite here. I'm so excited to be here. This is like real spirited away vibe. I mean, look at this. And we've got a view right on that like little town. We got so lucky. This books out like a year in advance. Somehow there was this one room available and Vivian just jumped on it. Vivian, thank Yay! you so much. This is my dream spot. Okay, so 2470 was a good, but I wish I, I was shooting a little wider, if I'm super honest, because wider would have gotten me like a little more of the building with the lady passing by, it could be cool. But I think I'm still really happy with those shots. Now we're gonna wait maybe 30 minutes and all the lights are gonna turn on on the buildings. I'm gonna go back and shoot uh, some ambient shots. I think it's gonna be epic. Okay, Jason, where are you going? Long exposure! Okay, so long exposure because his lights right there just turned on, like you see. So he's super excited to go try it out. So he's gonna go sh take some shots and I wanna take a shot from here and I'm gonna go shirtless because I don't have shirts that have a good color. So 
Let's just try and see how it looks. Okay, I bought this $320 tripod on Black Friday because I wanted to know what all the hype is about about this like Peak Design tripod. We're gonna try to take some uh, shots, long exposures with the tripod. It's a very classical shot here. And then later on, I'm gonna try to do other photos, maybe with a 3514 or the 8518, um, more like street style and, and get some ambiances. But right now it's gonna be like classic, but we got a, a little mist filter on there. It's gonna be nice. Oh, wow, look at this, all the snow. We were just up there and I think it, it just looked perfect for the shot. Really ambient. Wearing the, the Yukata, I think, added a, another dimension to it, which was really awesome. Oh, the shot over there could be cool also. I don't want to go too slow because the snow is going to create a lot of issues. Maybe one fifth of a second and see how it goes. This is a catastrophe, guys. In two seconds, we have snow all over the lens. I think the mist on top of that might be a little bit too much, if I'm super honest. I'm going to try one more, like, really faster, like one one hundredth of a second. Excuse me guys, excuse me, do you have a R5? If you have a R5, you don't need a tripod, you know? You can shoot three seconds and held. How's your shot? Ooh. Blue hour was perfect, huh? Wow guys, this is beautiful. I think I'm gonna go in the onsen and then I'll come back and take some shots after. Because right now I'm really cold if I'm super honest and there's too many people around so it's it's kind of useless to be taking the photos because i want to shoot at a shutter speed that's high enough where i can freeze a little bit of the snow which is around 180 of a second otherwise it just makes streaks on long exposure i prefer to shoot faster on those hey look at this is our dinner Whew. all right guys this was pretty good no yes. today and look We've got a crazy meal coming up. Now, this is one of the things I love with, with photography when you're going on trips like that, is actually going out there, taking photos, trying the local foods, really having that experience a little bit of the place. Uh, that would be even complete if we had a Japanese friend with us. So next time, if you're Japanese, let us know in the comments, but definitely that would be the cherry on top of the cake. But so far, it's been amazing. I honestly think that shot with the lady and her umbrella really turned out very well, especially in landscape. This is one of my favorite I took because it required like asking her, making it, but I also had that vision, especially when you see that building. It's more like a movie frame versus a photo, if you see what I mean. Something with the story in there. How do you like your shot, brother? Oh, it was amazing. Right? It was. I was saying I didn't expect that many people to be here and like shooting all the time. So maybe they're not like fully unique, but it's still like awesome. And we had like very unique conditions in my opinion. I always consider, you know, yes, we might be getting the same shot as everyone else, but it's like catching your own Pokemon, you know? You know, you go out there and you catch your own photos. Yes, gotta get them all. All right, Jason. Thank ah. you. Boom. Jenny, Vivian. Are you leaving us here? Yes. Oh, bye. <laughs> Teleportation.